collapse of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapsed on November the 7th, 1940. This is a suspension bridge. This is what the Tacoma Narrows Bridge was based on. At the top you see a cable between two towers which is put under tension to support the bridge at the bottom through the vertical ties which are all in tension. It was built in 1940 in Washington State, USA, across the narrows of Puget Sound. It connected the Olympic Peninsula with the mainland of Washington. Its span was 2,800 feet or 853.4 meters, and the depth of its deck was only 8 feet or 2.44 meters. Four months after its completion, in the morning of November 7th, it collapsed due to a moderate wind. The wind speed was only 42 miles per hour or 67.6 kilometers per hour. A video will now be shown.
a steep wind of 20 miles an hour. Lynch had been close to traffic but happened to be conceivably on the time and the car had been conceivably on the bridge. The car was left from the swells of an empty. It's his doctor's doctor. Stressed by the actions of the bridge, and the sense to stagger the to save people. The terrified Tubby had extricated the BBA and he became surprised as the direct casualty got into the bridge. As a direct casualty, the bridge is designed to be a sinker. Say, died of birth six months later. When he was asked to the bridge, and when his life was he said, I can do it when the bridge was totally just. The agenda is deciding to build a skin iron version. Twisting motion. Due to the torsional oscillation. The start of the collapse. This is the collapse. The sagging of the bridge after the collapse. This is just after the collapse. Four figures there. The top figure shows the center span, the second one shows the slackening of the tie, the third a frayed main cable, and the fourth diagonal tie. The figures show the buckling of suspended flows. Look at the size of the tires compared with the man standing up there. Encyclopedia Britannica says that because the length to depth ratio of its deck was very large, it had poor torsional stiffness. This was worsened by its large length to width ratio, which gave it poor flexible stiffness. The low torsional stiffness of the bridge led to it having very low torsional resonant frequencies of vibration, hence its early collapse due to aerodynamic forces, i.e. von Karman vortices. The only casualty was Tubby the dog. Fortunately, there were no human losses at the time. The 
Fleet Gear adopted in the design of the deck of the Tacoma Bridge was abandoned in the design of future suspension bridges. The Tacoma Arrows Bridge was replaced by a new span stiffened with a web cross in 1950, which still stands today.